Big idea number four, you can make content public or private within the same Sakai site. Why might you want to do this? Maybe you're on a committee and you want the committee deliberations to remain private while making the minutes and the agenda public to the campus. Maybe you're studying abroad and you want to share things you've written or some photos with people back home. And maybe you just want to reduce email attachments so that you can serve space on the email server. Whatever the case may be, there are many reasons why you might want to keep information public and private in the same site. So how does this work? Go to Resources and you're going to add a new folder called Public. We're going in and editing the details of that folder. So you'll notice that there's a radio button. Keep in mind that information in your site will remain private by default unless you take action and click this folder and its contents are publicly viewable. Then you see the URL below. That is what you send to your friends, your colleagues, anybody who's not a member of your site if you want them to see the information. We'll begin by clicking on Resources. We're going to add a new folder and we'll name it Public. And you can see at this link I can add details. So I click on the link and I'm going to change the default from private to this folder and its contents are publicly viewable. And then I'm going to create the folder. Now let's upload a file. So I've got a review me document that I want to send out to some people to give me some feedback. I could add details but I don't need to because this document's going to be public as it inherits the permissions from the folder above it. But I do need to go to actions, edit details so that I can get the URL to send to a friend. I click select the URL for copying, but I still need to copy it. Now I'm going to go to an alternate browser, one in which I have not logged into Sakai, to replicate being a person from outside of Sakai. I go ahead and paste that same URL, and you can see the document downloads automatically. And then I can open it, provide my feedback, and send it back. If we return to our site, I don't need to do anything, I can just cancel this return to my home page and there you go it's as simple as that information can be public and private within the same site in summary big idea number four is that in a single Sakai site you can have information that's both public and private this allows you to share information easily with those outside of your site while at the same time protecting student data and we bet that you can come up with many other reasons why you would want to do this thanks